What is the future of art? The show that aims to address that question is titled The Present in Drag. Just as drag is a form of performance that questions the nature of gender, so this Biennale features works questioning the very nature of art itself. The curators are interested in exploring the intersection of culture and commerce. There's an installation disguised as a juice bar. And exclusive merchandise made just for the Biennale, including clothing. When something is understood as art, you excuse it. And, you know, people have much... <laughs> but if something is an advertisement, people are more likely to be offended. <laughs> if something is in a gallery, people just accept it and kind of don't question what it might be, which really works against the purpose and the intention of the artist. British artist Simon Fujiwara's intention was to explore what makes Germans happy. For instance, he's showing a handsome young man body painted to look like a Lufthansa employee. Angela Merkel's special high-def TV makeup, and the door of a bordello catering to people with physical handicaps. Happiness and self-optimization are the topics of an installation by the artist's GCC, a running track symbolizing neoliberal ideals such as competition and efficiency winds around a mother and son. Her gesture, the quantum touch, is meant to emit positive energy, a comment on how governments and corporations are promoting well-being to encourage greater productivity. It's just one of the inconsolable contradictions visitors are confronted with at this challenging and exciting Berlin Biennale.